Juan, again, uh, beautiful artwork. If uh, Ms. Nash is here, thank you very much for sending me this beautiful artwork. Um, today we're going to talk uh, Poche Tote and Indian Point Tote. On the Poche Tote, all good news. Uh, TRS finally comes, came with an employee, employee contribution rate of 9.53% compared to 10.25. So there's an expense reduction of about a quarter of a million dollars. Uh, we're having five teachers retiring. Um, the exp expense reduction is going to be about 350000 and our state aid increased about half a million dollars more than we were expecting. So due to those facts, if you remember, we started January 8th on a budget between 81 and 82.6. Today we are at 82.1. Our uh, budget this year is $80 million. So this is an increase of $2 million with 60000 or 2.6 percent. Our preliminary tax levy back in January was 47.5, then we brought it down to 47.3, and now we are at 46.3, and that's a 5.88 um, tax levy increase from this year. So this is our tax calculation. Um, we have non-property tax revenues. Our non-property tax revenues are coming down 1.4% due to Indian Point, and it's only 1.4% because our fund balance uh, we're putting instead of $1.4 million, $3 million. And that's uh, using some of our savings that we have in fund balance from prior years that we, build, we have been building due to the fact that we knew that the Indian Point was closing. Our proposed budget is $82.1 million, tax levy we discuss, our tax cap, that actually today I had to send it to the state controller, is uh, $48.1 million. So if we went to the, to the tax cap, our tax levy increase would be 10%. That does everyone here imagine that's not palatable for not only this community, I don't think any community in the state of New York. Um, the problem if we go to contingent budget is that we're going to have to cut $2.5 million. And that's a very hefty number uh, given our budget. Uh, going forward, I'll move forward uh, because I have a projection for the next seven years. Um, and here we are, Indian Point update. We run uh, several scenarios, and this is um, the scenario that <coughs> we like the most, meaning we maintain current programs, we maintain neighborhood schools. Um, based on that, this year, as we said, our tax levy increase will, will be 5.88%. Uh, I just went through the year 27-28 because that's when, the SSA, uh, that's when the cessation fund ends. So if we go through the years where we have cessation fund, I'm expecting in 28-29 to go back to our regular 2% increase like everyone else or like, in, like uh, we, when we already made all the money that we lost from Indian Point. Uh, here I, I, I did a Town of Portland average school tax and Pigskill average school tax. So today a person who has a assessed value of 7,700, which is the average in both uh, Big Steel and Town of Portland. Um, the resident in Town of Portland is paying 7,920, and the resident of Big Steel is paying 3,669, including the increases because we all uh, uh, we all have increases in 
health insurance, in absolutely everything, our, our residents with the same assessed value will be paying 13845 or 6414 for the people in peak skill, that it's approximately about 60% increase, including all the increases that we need to have on a yearly basis. So, um, this is basically where we stand going forward. As you can see, um, our increases go from 5.8% 5, 5 up to 93 uh, Our goal is not to have double-digit increases in tax levy. Uh, difficult, very difficult. Uh, but that's why we are looking at all the possibilities so we can um, uh, we can reduce the tax burden on, on the community. And um, this is again a current program base case scenario, and that's why we're looking at the Princeton plan. Um, whatever savings we can bring from the Princeton plan will be yearly savings, and so you can get an idea, every point in our tax levy is about 470,000. So if we bring a million dollars in savings from Princeton plan, just to say a number, that doesn't mean that uh, that's the number that we're looking. That means that we will be, uh, uh, the community will be paying about 2.2% less in, um, in tax on a yearly basis uh, if we stay uh, as we are. Any questions? Yes, Enrique, you had mentioned that the cessation fund was done in 27-28. Could you explain why there's no cessation fund funding on the revenue side for the three years before that? Could I you can, just explain that? I can, I can do that in my next one. Okay. Oh, you, could yeah. you cover that? Yeah. Any other questions? Thank you.